Hey everyone, Steve here with SJ Woodworks. Um, we're not doing a wood turning video today. Instead, uh, we've got a video here that's a collaboration between me and Inventables, the maker of the X card, which you see here, and my wife Stephanie, who owns the website craftingintherain.com. Uh, you guys have seen a lot of Inventables uh, videos already with the assembly and reviews of the X card, and we're not going to do that. Uh, Inventables has given us this machine free of charge, and they've asked us to just make a few projects and detail out the steps and show you. Uh, how to go from the design phase to a finished product here on the x car So that's what we're going to do. Today we're going to make a little plaque for our dog. Uh, she sleeps in a crate at night and her name is Zoe. We're going to make a little dog bone plaque to hang on the outside of the crate out of walnut. So let me take you to the design phase and then we'll cut it out. And then my wife will take over and do some finishing. So here we go. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is set our materials. So come here to materials. We are going to use walnut. Uh, the size of our material is going to be 6 inches by 3 inches for this dog bone plaque. And I already measured the exact thickness. We're at 0.51 inches. It's half inch material. But I, because I'm cutting all the way through, I want to know exactly what it is. Um, let's go to what we're going to use for machining. We are going to use an eighth inch bit. Um, it's 0.125 inches on the x carve. Uh, so we're in pretty good shape here. Now let's go ahead and start designing. So we just need to start importing uh, the images we have. So here's a dog bone file that I just found online, a free clip art. Um, it comes in really big, so I'm just going to size it the way I want it. I want to have the uh, width be 5.5 inches and the height be 2.5 inches. And then you can see it kind of fits in there nicely. I also want to center it, so I'm going to Put the center at an x coordinate of 3 inches because that's halfway and a y of 1.5 so you can see it's centered on here i don't want it right against the edge of my wood because if i'm a little off when i uh, put the bit down then i'll lose part of my dog bone here so okay now with this dog bone we don't want to cut the whole thing down we're going to do an outline cut uh, outside the path so it's just going to cut out the whole dog bone all the way deep and we will use tabs uh, so that it doesn't go flying. The actual wood we're going to use is bigger than this, so I want to make sure um, that you know I can have some space to clamp it down, but this is the, the work area that we have here. Um, okay, so let's add some holes. We're going to want to hang this sign from uh, the dog's crate, so we're going to put a couple of hanging holes up here. We'll just do that by adding a couple of circles. We're going to make this circle a quarter inch by quarter inch. Then, uh, let's see, oh, that was the position, not the size. Let's try that again. We'll make it a quarter inch by a quarter inch. Then we're going to take this and put it up here where we want it to be. We'll just put it right up here near the top. We want to make sure to cut these hanging holes all the way through. And then we need to make another one. So first thing we should do is just take a look at the uh, Y coordinate. 2.463, let's round that off to 2.5, just so it's a, a nice, easy to remember number, because what we're going to want to do, uh, we'll copy that and then paste it, bring it right over here, and we want this to be at the same height over here, so we're just going to go ahead and set the Y coordinate here at 2.5 as well. Okay, now let's... Um, type our name. Let's come up here to the text. This is the font that we want to use right here um, because it's nice and big and I want it to show up well when we paint it. My dog's name is Zoe. If, uh, you know, if you're making one of these for yourself, obviously you can use the font and type your own dog's name in here. I like this font because it kind of fits in this spot pretty well. Um, I don't want to cut it quite this deep though. We really don't need it very deep for this engraving, so I'm going to cut it 0 0.05 inches deep. That's all. It gets lighter because it's not cutting quite as far. Uh, and then let's bring in a little shape also just for fun. Again, free clip art that I found online. Um, and we're just going to make this nice and small so we can get it down in a little corner here just for fun. A little smaller still. There 
we go. We'll bring it in here. And if we grab this up here, we can, whoops, let's try this again. If we grab this little handle up here, we can rotate it just a little bit, uh, just as a little bit of a design element. And again, we'll cut this 0 0.05 inches deep. Okay, so that's our design. Okay, let's just real quick go through the carving sequence here. So we click on carve, measure the material, it says 0.51 inches. I don't know if you can see this real well uh, right now, so we're just gonna go through this quick. I've already measured it 0.51 inches. Um, I've got it clamped down, I'll show you that in just a second. We are using a 1 8 inch bit. Uh, the bit is in the home position, and I'll show you that in just a second. And then the last steps are just going to be raise the bit, turn on the spindle, and start carving. So let me move you over so you can see uh, the carving and the setup over there. Okay, you can see my half inch piece of walnut right here. I'm just using a double sided carpet tape actually to hold it down to this piece of MDF that I have clamped down as a wasteboard. Uh, I know this is supposed to be the wasteboard and I'm just not ready to cut into this yet because, you know, it took a long time to put those inserts in and everything. So I have a secondary wasteboard on here my walnut board um, right here and the spindle in the bottom left hand. Let's get it started here. Alright, the carve is all done. It's still connected by the tabs in there, so I'm gonna uh, pull this whole thing off the wasteboard and cut it out with my uh, jigsaw or bandsaw or whatever and sand out the tabs, and then we'll be ready to move to finishing with this. Hi guys, I'm Stephanie. I'm Steve's wife, and my blog is Crafting in the Rain. I'm gonna be taking over this project now. Here's our cutout Zoe sign. I'm going to paint and put glitter on the inside of these letters, but to make sure that the paint doesn't bleed, I'm going to do a couple layers of this shellac first, just paint it inside the letters, and then when that's dry, I'll do the paint and the glitter. shellac painted inside. I did two coats and went up over the edges just a little bit. Now I'm going to put paint, this pink paint here, down inside the letters and again up over the sides just a little bit. We'll sand that off later and you won't be able to see it anymore.
coats of spray lacquer here. So this is Zoe, and here is Zoe's finished sign. We want to thank Inventables for sending us the machine to try out. And be sure to watch for a couple more projects that my husband and I are working on together. For more information about the X-Carve, check the link in the description below. And thanks for watching.